What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel and today is gonna be a super exciting what I eat in a day video and she's a flower girl and we've been practicing with our uh, basket from our wedding and some paper in there because she's yeah. gonna be a flower girl next week when we go to Cabo or in a wedding it's Nana and Papa and Mama. yeah I'm really excited to sit down and chat with you guys and kind of give you a little bit of an update since so many of you guys have been asking me questions over on Instagram and um, on my videos and all of that stuff so I figured I'll just kind of throw it into this video since I'll be doing what I eat in the day and how I'm eating today the number one question I made a list of things to address but the number one question is if I am still in if I'm still keto and right now I am not officially keto like a month ago when I was dealing with a lot of anxiety personal issues and also just kind of taking out like not having dairy in my diet because of the acne it really made it hard for me to stay in ketosis so I couldn't stress and like focus on my health and fitness at the time because of what I was going through now I'm able to talk about it I'm okay with talking about it everything's fine I'm getting better I kind of like my fitness and health went out the door last month I have been eating crappy I have not been working out and I've been just really focusing on my mental health and be, being better, just being taking care of me and not focusing on that part of my um, health right now because it just, I just couldn't. Honestly, I just couldn't. It just wasn't something that I could focus on and I kind of let it go. I did gain a few pounds. I wasn't really watching what I was eating. I was kind of eating whatever. I definitely like the diet, nothing wrong with keto, and I love all of the keto recipes that I've learned in my journey. And today's what I eat in a day is gonna be low carb. I decided I am gonna keep sharing things on uh, low, low carb and keto like desserts and meals and things like that because everything I eat when I'm in low carb are things you can eat when you're on keto. So that's pretty much it. The only difference in the keto is that you need to target that high fat in your like daily intake. You need to make sure you're getting lots of fat and that I wouldn't, I won't be focusing on right now. I am sorry that I haven't been posting as frequent videos as I usually do. Um, I usually post three or four videos a week and that kind of had to come to a halt the last few weeks or the last couple weeks. So I just had to do what's best for me and I hope you guys understand that. And then the fitness, I am definitely wanting to get back into fitness. Fitness is everything to me like it makes you feel better when you can do it it really does it makes me feel happier I have more energy I feel good about myself so I'm definitely gonna be getting back into a program I don't know which program I will keep you guys updated when I officially start a program it won't be until after our vacation next week we'll be in vacation for a week in Cabo doing the wedding stuff and vacationing with the family so I definitely won't be starting um, anything until probably November 1st is my goal to get back and start a workout program I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm eating. Today. All right, you guys, so we just got a few things here I wanna show you. So I am and using I this. I am the chef. You are the chef. I am using this nonstick coconut oil cooking spray. It is, this actually says fat-free cooking spray, but this is what we're using right now. And then I just put this on my eggs, um, just a little bit of pink Himalayan salt is the salt that we use. Some black pepper, I love pepper on everything. I like pepper too. Yes, you do. Then we're gonna have some spinach, lots of I spinach, can't. bacon. So this is another different thing that I'm doing right now is I've just been eating turkey bacon. But once I go back to keto, if I do full keto, then I would just get regular high fat bacon and then eggs and that's it. And that's it. All right, you guys, so I'm all done cooking. This is super simple, super easy, and it's low carb. So we just got your bacon, your veggies, spinach, and then eggs. And like I said, I just used pepper and Himalayan salt on my eggs. I got my water, so you wanna make sure you are drinking your water, which I always do. And I always have to use a straw for some reason. So. I use this Organifi green juice and you can actually get this um, on Amazon. I have it linked in my Amazon favorites down below in my description box. But I use this and it has four carbs but then it has four fibers so it's like zero carbs. Um, and then it has like 
calcium, iron, sodium, all that stuff. And this is really, really good. It's soy free, dairy free, vegan, and gluten free. So it's just like a super, a super food with coconut and ashwanda infused. I think that I'm going to hide in somewhere by a gate and stop. All right, you guys, so this is my lunch for today. I'm just gonna make a little bowl of it and then um, have some leftover for later or if somebody else wants some. But it's just a like shrimp and avocado bacon salad. And it's super low carb. If you use it with regular bacon, it can be high fat for like keto. Um, but I just have that turkey bacon that I need to eat up. And then the avocado has healthy fat. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how much that I eat personally, um, just so it gives you an idea. So probably just about that much there. So then there you have about that much left. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some fish. I have salmon in here. And then all I put on my salmon was I used some of this uh, extra virgin olive oil. I used the Himalayan salt, some of these minced garlic, and just some pepper. And then I'm also gonna add some lemon. I have fresh lemon in the fridge, so I'll go ahead and squeeze some of that when I'm done cooking it. And then we're just doing a bag of Caesar salad. And then I went ahead and microwaved some of this rice cauliflower. So you just steam, it's like a steam bag. So super easy dinner here. Good <laughs> job. Yay. All right, you guys, so this is dinner. So we just have a salmon here and then yeah, the rice cauliflower, which I love. And then just some Caesar salad. It was actually super quick. I mean, you're talking about like eight minute dinner right here and it's healthy and low carb. So. All right, you guys, so that is all I have for you. Again, like I said, I am just now starting to get back in my health game and kind of eat cleaner and make smarter choices. So bear with me. And if you have any questions, leave those down below in the comments and also just say hi. And if you guys can give me a like just to let me know that you guys like these videos and go ahead and comment any other videos you'd like me to make, I would love that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.